go. What the hell's going on? This is another update. Man, I got more updates than fucking CNN. Uh, there was a lot going on. Uh, got a new camera. Again. The reason why I got a new camera is because I now have Windows 7. And Windows 7 accepts different format, more different formats than piece of shit Vista. And uh, don't you think, like, everyone that bought Vista should get some kind of refund? Don't you think Mr. whatever the fuck his name is that invented Vista should send everyone a disc of Windows 7? Because Windows, I mean, because Vista is so screwed up. Everyone knows Vista sucks. I mean, it works, but it works like crap. Everyone knows it. How come they're not doing it? What's it what would it cost them to send you... Uh, Windows 7 on a CD because Vista is so horrible. It should be like, you know, like a recall on Vista. Like, you remember? Remember when Volvos were slamming in the reverse? You know what I'm saying? Well, why don't they did a recall? Why don't they do, you know, give everyone a Vista CD to install in their. I mean, not a Vista CD. A uh, Windows friggin' 7 CD to correct all the Vista problems. See what I'm saying? No one treats you right. Except, you know, a few people. People on YouTube treat you right. That's it. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Uh, I drifted off. Yeah, I got I got a new PC. And, um, it's Windows 7. So now I can use any kind of freaking camera I want. I just got a Sony. Where's the box? Here it is. Again. You know what, when you hit 40, I know I'm always saying this, but I gotta say it again. I can't pee real good for some reason. Like, it don't come out right. Like, my son, when he's peeing, it's, he sounds like, like a black stallion in there. Like a studded horse. You know what I mean? When I go in there, I sound like a coffee maker. And then it don't all come out. Like, and, and 20 minutes later, the rest of it comes out. So actually, a, a coffee maker runs better than my than my little birdie does. It's ridiculous. Uh, this is called the. Uh, thank God I got the box, as I can't show you the camera because I'm using it. It's a de it's a video camera. It's, you know, it's dedicated to video. It gives you more control of zoom and all that shit. You know, so this is what the one I just picked up. It's pretty expensive. It's called the Sony HDR CX160, and uh, I loaded it into my Windows 7, and it went right into my picture files. And I can do whatever I want with the clips now. When I had a fancy camera like this before, uh, Vista, piece of shit Vista, didn't like it. So it made me do all this converting, all kinds of converting. By the time I got it to my Camtasia or my Windows movie maker it looked like crap so we're gonna see how this does pretty nice camera it's not very expensive about about as much money as a gun so I'm in a big hole right now that, that really hurt I was like ouch you know what I mean but uh you know thank God for you guys I wouldn't have been able to get that but between the shat with the shots between the shirts the hats and you know you guys you guys purchasing them and all that and by the time I uh, did the math, I was I had enough money to get that camera. So I really wanted to get a gun. Trust me, because uh, when Tom from Weapons Education comes up, uh, we're going to go to Cabela's, and uh, you can't go to Cabela's and not get a gun. What the hell? Why would you even go there? I mean, we could get ammunition and stuff, but it is an experience to go there, even if you don't get a gun. But I can't see me going there without getting one. So I got to try to get some money together again before he gets here. He'll be here in two weeks. So, gotta have a good time when you go there. You go to Cabela's with no money. It's just like a big tease. It's like going to a nudie bar without any money, you know? It's like, you know, going to see, like, one of the hottest topless girls at, uh, Resque in Philly. I think that's one of them. I have to say that in case my wife's listening. I have to say I think that's one of them. Uh, and going in there with no ones. Anyway, so we got the new camera. 
let's test it out. See how uh, powerful it is. Zoom up on that ballast all. See, yeah, see how it's staying in focus? See that? The ballast all. Ballast all. Look at that. And it looks good through here so far. And uh, got great control with the little lever. It's an awesome camera. This is going to be an update for our website. Our website's almost done, guys. I can't give you an exact date when it's going to be done. But just to let you know, we're not bullshitting you guys. <coughs> if you go on my channel under websites, the very first website that says the Armory Express Outlet. The Army Express website outlet, or however I got it word, there's a link there. If you click on the link, you will see the banner for the website and a little bit of information there. And it'll say on their construction. Go check it out. Give you an idea how it's going to look a teeny bit. Uh, obviously, there, there's way more there than what you're going to see. Only me and Tom from Weapons Education can see it because we have the password and all. But it, we're ready to release it soon. we got to get a few more products on there. And that, that's what this is all about. I got my Glock, Generation Glock 4 there, in a Galco, beautiful Galco holster. Galco holsters are friggin' phenomenal. Uh, that's like one of the one of the nicest holsters I got, and that is a for a Glock 23, and it's an inside right-handed waistband holster. It's beautiful. It's got the clips that come around to your belt, and then. Uh, it's great. Smells good, man. It's got it's good, like reeking of leather. I love that. For some reason, it just makes me think of money. Leather's expensive. And we're going to have uh, those two size cans of ballastol because everyone's always asking me all the time Pete, where do you get ballastol? Pete, where do you get ballastol? Pete, I can't find ballastol. Or they don't have it in Canada. Yes, they do. Alright, so our website's going to have it. Okay, we're going to have a big 16 ounce can, I think that is there. And this little aerosol can. It's uh, 6 ounces, and this was this one. Yeah, 16 ounces. Damn, I got a memory. Okay, and we're also going to be, uh, we're going to have all the cold steel knives. Every different kind of style, pretty much almost everything they make. I don't have a cold steel knife here to to present or you know demonstrate for you what they're going to look like, but I do intend on getting the Spartan. I looked at all of them, and as far as a knife, good ca knife carrying, a knife to carry, I, I like the Spartan. It, that thing is sweet. So I'll show it to you when it uh, when I get it when it gets here. Uh, but cold steel knives, um, Galco holsters, Ballastol. And uh, we're working on a few other companies. We haven't got the word yet in. And another company we definitely got in, got in with. We, we already purchased the uh, merchandise. Is uh, AB Arms. And uh, AB Arms sells awesome stuff for AR-15s. And uh, they're very knowledgeable people. They're pretty much gunsmiths. And uh, we're going to be uh, probably getting a gas system. For my DPMS and handguards, and they have these handguards. You'll see them. See that white box? You're probably wondering what that is. That's something from AB Arms. I'm going to show you what that is in a minute. And then uh, that's it. That's all I want to uh, just give you a quick little update. I didn't want you to think like the website had like like it like it ain't going to be ready for months or something. It's going to be ready. You're talking within weeks. Maybe sooner, okay? I can't give you a date. I don't want people getting pissed at me. But I'll tell you this. It'll be definitely within weeks, okay? Maybe sooner. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Be right back. Got a package uh, about two days ago. And uh, I got the uh, Mr. Twinkie mas mascot right there. That was sent to me from a slightly overweight gentleman from the southern part of the country. And uh, what that is, is that is a Twinkie container. 
that thing is pretty cool I will hold my Twinkies in it but the problem is they don't sell Twinkies up here anymore so I will hold something else in it so this is what I hold in it alright show you that real quick pretty neat this fucking hat opens up <laughs> and I got it filled with self defense hollow points pretty cool so I thought I'd show that pretty cool uh, Twinkie dude looks like Bill a little bit all it needs is a goatee and some sunglasses that's all I need and a Harley so I just wanted to show you the Twinkie dude good place to hide ammunition no one think any ammunitions in there and I wanted to thank Bill for the uh, the Twinkie dude the Twinkie dude's cool Actually, that thing's probably collectible. In a hundred years, I'll go to uh, uh, Vegas and go to Pawn Stars and probably get uh, five grand for it. You never know. Alright, just wanted to show you that. Be right back. Okay, there is my DPMS AR-15. I got a package from AB Arms. I've seen You've seen this uh, when we went up to Howard's. You've seen these and... Uh, I figure I'll let you guys see what they're going to look like. Um, I know I just got that UTG handrail system with the Troy Industries rail covers. But what I want to do is temporarily take them off and show you these new handguards from AB Arms. American Built Arms, that's what that stands for. <clears throat> and they are American Built. They make them. They don't get them from fucking China. They actually manufacture these things. Uh, they're really sweet. They're made out of Glock material, like a polymer, Teflon, uh, super industrial, super tough plastic. You know, I hate to say plastic because they're not plastic, they're a polymer. And uh, they're really cool looking, very futuristic, very, uh, you know, like something you see in Aliens or something. It's, they're just really, they're real classy looking, make your uh, gun look good, and most importantly, very comfortable. And most importantly, they don't get hot when you rapid fire. And most importantly, they don't melt. And most importantly, hopefully, I remember to put the fucking link at the bottom of the video to show you the dude shooting with it. If I can find the video. Alright, so there's a before picture. And that, I'm going to show you what they look like when they're on the rifle. Now we will be... Uh, the Armory Express outlet will be will be will be uh, will have these available, so just chill out. You know it's only going to be a week or so, and we'll, we will have these available on our website. I'm telling you, I think you guys are going to love these. They they have a really cool look to them. All right, let me get it all in there, and we'll be back. Okay, uh, got the handguard on. They're pretty easy to put on. Uh, I don't even have a tool to push that ring down, and I was able to get them. You know, the uh, the D-ring, the, de the decompression ring, this here. I don't have the tool to even push it down, and with my with my condition, with my hands, I could, I could even do it. So if I can do it, you know, any of you guys can do it if you don't have that tool. You just got to be really patient. You got to line everything up, and it just pretty much just snaps together. Uh, there's the look of it. Like I said, it's very futuristic looking. You see it. Get a little closer there. I forgot to take it. I, I didn't want to show it to you until it was on the gun. But uh, if you take it apart, it does have uh, aluminum heat shields inside it. it. has, you know, tin heat shields inside it. And, uh, you know, that keeps it um, from, from the heat transferring to the... Uh, slows the heat down from transferring to the handguards. And uh, they feel really good. They're textured underneath. They have like an orange peel texture underneath. They're very solid feeling. When they go on, they're airtight. They don't rattle or nothing. Um, they have these uh, these air vents in here. So what it is, is it's a heat shield and a cooling system at the same time. Because the heat can escape at the same time. Which allows 
them to stay cool. I mean, if there was no holes here, the heat would build up inside and these would get hot. So the heat releases and it keeps it cool at the same time. That's what all them little holes are for. Now, uh, another thing is for if you want to took if you want to put accessories on it, like a flashlight and stuff. Under here, there's a slot. There's a slot under here for a vertical for a vertical grip for a Picatinny rail. You can put a you can put a Picatinny rail on here. There's one on the other side. Uh, if you want to put accessories for it. Uh, you can't really junk it up like when you have the other kind of rails, but it depends what you're looking for. You also got a Picatinny rail up on the top, and uh, it's nice. It's nice. And I just want to show you guys that we will be carrying this, these hand guards, these new AR hand guards. Let's give you an overall look at the gun, and I think it, I think they're cool looking. Very futuristic tactical looking and um, they say right down here AB arms American built arms is uh, pressed into the hand guards so if you guys like to uh, if you like to get that lacquer stick and, and you know you want to fill in fill something in and make it look make it look cool you could do that with that Let's see if we get it closer there see that AB arms if you want to make it look cool, you can get like OD green lacquer stick filled in or red. Because I know some of you guys like to do that. Some of you guys hate that. You know? That's whatever. Whatever you want. You can do it. So I just wanted to show that just to give you an idea what our website's going to have. Also, AB Arms are also, and we're also, uh, well, I better not say that because I'm not sure if we're going to be selling the gas systems. They they do they sell gas piston systems, and that that's what I'm probably going to get done to this AR. Uh, what it does is it, it keeps the bolt cleaner. It makes the gun run a little bit more reliable, and uh, they're very expensive, but um, they're well worth the investment. It'll make your rifle worth a lot of money. So, you know, that's up to you. I'm not sure exactly how much they are. You know, they're they're a few hundred bucks, but um, like I said, uh, if you, if you buy a rifle with a gas piston system in it and all the stuff on it, you, you know, you're you're paying like eighteen hundred dollars for them things. You know what I'm saying? Between fifteen and eighteen hundred. I mean, I, I mean that's that's the difference. I mean, without a gas system, they're down to a thousand. So that just shows you the importance of the gas piston system. Okay. Now you guys know I'm no expert on AR-15, so. I can't sit here and ramble off statistics to you and split hairs on information. I can't do it because, uh, you know, I'm a little new to ARs myself. I'm a 1911 dude, AK dude, you know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to show you uh, our website will be carrying these new handguards. I think they look really good. Alright guys, this is just a long update. I was going to say a quick update, but now it's long. Like I said, click on the website link on my page there's no website yet but at least you'll see there's one coming and it's under construction just to show you the link is is active and uh, you know it takes it takes money for all that to get the link active to get the website up just want to let you guys know we're not messing around me and Tom from weapons education and when, without him uh, there would be no website okay so let's not forget that alright guys I'll talk to you guys soon.